Howdy, y'all. Oh, hey. <laughs> I know I I thought I tested this before I sat down, but I guess I changed my spot a little bit. Freaked me out. Also, So, This was just an example. This is going to sound a little strange, and I'll try and get this out as well as I can without... Well, you probably all think I'm nuts anyway, so... What's been happening in my life these days has... Um, this sounds strange, but it, it seems like everything in my previous lives, all of everything all of my years seems to have been preparing me for what is happening in my life right now um i know that sounds just odd but it's like every time i encounter something it's like well it's like i have to change the way i eat um and you know things that i've never really thought were very tasty i have to start eating and well i was a cook i know how to make things tasty i just have to apply that to my situation now um you know, just everything seems to have been preparing me for this. I've had strange jobs. I've had high pressure jobs. I mean, the jobs I've had, um, there are, you know, firemen, policemen, and uh, doctors, you know, emergency room doctors. They are the highest um, stressed jobs around, and cook and IT are right behind them. So I've always been, I've always been right there. Um, and... And then add that you know, onto that with the cook thing. I was a manager for a long time. Thought that was my problem. So I tried to just be a cook. And it, that wasn't the problem. So, <laughs> um, yeah. But everything just seems to be preparing me for where I'm headed. So I'm it, thinking about that. It's like, well, in my life before, when I was younger, the, the love I have for Southern Rock, I always thought that I would have to do something to help carry that on in the future in because I was thought it was it was going to go by the wayside um in my lifetime Leonard Skinner has become you can ask absolutely anybody on the freaking planet and they know who Leonard Skinner is are uh it's just ridiculous and I as my favorite band and being me I always thought that it was just me that wow i there can't be other people on the planet that love this band as much as i do there are some people that love that band more than i do which is wow you know so but i always thought i would have to be uh uh what do you call it um you know um help carry things on you know make sure that that younger generations knew about this this thing from the past called southern rock you know and and um uh, Dusty Hill dying just kind of, they're all fading away, man. Eric Clapton's going to go away sometime. The the blues, you know, Stevie Ray did his best to, to get that going again, and Eric Clapton carries it on, but it just seems like all that's going to go away, and that's what I loved about Southern Rock so much was that it was the blues, but then it was rock and roll, and it was the blending of this amazing energies between the two, and it was like, hmm don't ever go away and then you know it, it kind of it, rock and roll they say has been going away i as long as it's in people's hearts it's never going to go away and i think maybe 
you know, me just sitting here, if somebody finds these YouTube videos and goes, hey, what is that? That would be the Allman Brothers, you know? Ain't but one way out. Lord, I just can't go out that though. You know, um, just... Yeah. So, what I'm trying to say is you might hear a lot more, uh... Southern rock riffs from me. Beat nods again. And I'd like to have Miss Victory by my side. Anyway, didn't think I was going to make this video today, but wanted to say, hey, how y'all doing? Uh, always look up. It is Sunday, God's Day. Always look up. And I'll see you then. Peace.